Hey guys, this is Sai here. Welcome to my channel. For this video, I wanted to do a nail design using some foil. I have not used foil, I want to say maybe like a year. I could be wrong, but I am pretty sure I have not used actual foil in a design in a really long time. So I came across this foil right here. This foil pack looks like this. It came in, where's that little, oh, right here. It came in one of these little plastic bags. I actually got this from Timo. So this is how they come in this like, I don't know, like, what is it, like seven to eight different kinds of foil. And I seen this one right here. And I think this is so pretty. Now, Juneteenth is actually coming up. Actually, by the time this video comes out, it's probably going to be past the point. But when I seen this, that is the first thing that came to mind. So I really wanted to, you know, base the nail design off of this foil. I think this is really pretty. Even though this doesn't have black, I could easily incorporate it. And I think it'll fit really nicely um in a nail design so yeah like i said i really want to use this and i think it's just going to be really pretty i also wanted this design to be really simple and easy and you guys know i never make things simple and easy but i'm gonna try <laughs> so if you're not subscribed please go ahead subscribe to my channel make sure you turn the notification bell to all so you know when i upload let's just jump right in and get into this nail design for the tips i'm gonna go in with the extra long stiletto nail tips i was about to say nancy <laughs> Extra long stiletto nail tips. I actually already pre-measured out my sizes. So we is good to go. I do have a peel off base coat on, but of course you guys already know you would go ahead and prep your nails before doing anything. I was so conflicted if I should go with stiletto or like a coffin, but I don't know. I love stiletto. Like that's just like my nail look so i'm gonna go in with my rubber base coat um i'm gonna add a little bit to the tip just like so i do have my flash cure lamp on the side again all of these products are from my website lgmpro.com just gonna go ahead and just start adhering the tips like so once i have all of them on i do go in my full size lamp for a full 60 seconds the full size lamp that i use i am currently using is by melody Susie. um and i don't know the name of it but I have it a promo code in the description box if you guys wanted to save some money you get promo code for any kind of like drill you want or dust collector I think it only works for certain stuff I'll just have to double check but I'll link that below as well if you're interested in any kind of like dust collector the drill or the full-size lamp let me stop talking because I already see I think I did this one a little bit crooked oh my god it's crooked should I leave it <gasps> It's like really crooked. Look, it's going that way. I could probably fix it. I'm gonna leave it for now and then maybe I could file it that, <laughs> that way. Okay, so this is them glue, glued on, well cured on. Just gonna go in really fast. Just one, two, three. Just file the little sides. Because with these tips, my nail tends to like, the tip tends to stick up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in and just file that and make sure it's like blends it into the natural nail plate. Not too much because I do have that peel off base coat. But if you guys were to do this, you guys already know you wouldn't have to worry about that peel off base coat. So I'm gonna go in really quick. One, two, three. And put this rubber base coat on the just top portion just a little bit just like so not too much and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a full cure for 60 seconds but just a really thin layer now for the hard I'm gonna go in with brown orchid and I haven't used this in again I don't even know how long but I really wanted to pull this out and I think it'll just fit perfectly with this foil Oof, I can show it with this foil as well okay, that is cured this is what the color looks like. This is such a pretty color and I don't use it as often. So for this, I'm kind of, I'm thinking about doing like extensive nail beds on my nails. Do I want to do that? The only, so I think I'm going to do that. The only reason I struggle or like hesitate when doing extensive nail beds is I never get them consistent. They, one always looks longer than the other. So I'm going in with the oval brush number six. And from here, I'm just going to start off exactly where I want the extensive nail bed to go. So I want to see maybe like right here. I'm going to start off here and then kind of like just connect it up on these sides like so. And I'm going to do this in sections because I can never really do it in one shot. 
So I'm just make sure these side walls look like they're touching. This is me again, just like perfecting it. So from here, I'm actually liking how that look. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna flash cure that really quick. And then when that is fully cured, well not fully cured, just like a quick flash cure, I'm gonna take more and then still like build it up. And then again, this is where I'm gonna go on the top. Don't mind my cut. I got like, I don't even know what happened there. I feel like I keep getting cut and having to explain this to you guys what happened. I also want these small lines to be pretty high because I am gonna go back in with a nail file and just like shape it and crispin crispin that small line crispin is that is that crispin that don't even sound right honestly i wanted this to be one two three and it's not because i always make it harder for myself <laughs> doing these extended nail beds takes so long for me i think any design honestly takes long for me so I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing to all of the nails. I think for the ring, I might do something different. I don't know, when I get to that point, I'll see. <laughs> So this is what they are looking like. I did all of them. As you can see, I only did two um, thin coats of this one. Y'all, this one is so, like, crooked. I don't know if you could tell. Well, you can't really tell like this. But it's really leaning this way. I kind of got to, like, straighten it out. But I'm going to try to fix it later. Um, So I did already remove the sticky layer because I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> so we're going to go in and I'm going to start filing these sides. Well, actually, the small line of this. And just kind of perfecting it. Um, making a crisp edge just like so nothing too crazy um what helps me is after i go over this i do like to go over the surface just a little bit where that smile line is just to see what it's looking like it helps me visually see where i need to foul so just like that i can physically see where i need to come in and if we're good i move on to the next nail make this straight just a little bit don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna try that looks better kind of maybe not really okay so this is again what we are working with i did all my smile lines just gonna go in really quick and just dust off any extra so from here i'm gonna go in with the color staple and i'm actually gonna push that right up against those smile lines this color is my hard gel um it is non soak off fall off only it's not a builder gel it's a colored hard gel so i'm actually just gonna go ahead um take a small amount and a little bit goes a long way i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna push that right up against this wall if it goes on top that's fine because we're gonna file everything and like shape it so don't worry if it goes on top like i said i'm just making sure i'm going right up into those little small line corners and just filling that in and then i am going to cure it in place just like so going in taking it pushing it up into that little groove like so actually i could probably just drag this really thin all the way down it doesn't hurt actually yeah i think i'm gonna do that to all of them yeah just like that i'm gonna cure that
you swing by What do you wanna do? You ain't got no work done till five We ain't even got a dice I just want to try they look in a hot mess but that's okay we're gonna go in now and use what is this this is called transfer for you from set snail co i do have a discount code if you guys are interested i have i think i want to say i have all of her glitters i am obsessed with her glitters i have like a drawer completely filled with just set snail co <laughs> glitters so go check them out but yeah uh so ring nail just gonna go in add a thin layer one thin layer i'm actually gonna cure that does it say some people say like a few seconds it says 45 seconds apply for your design and use okay so 45 seconds i'm gonna cure this and then we'll see i honestly was gonna do 30 seconds but it says 45 seconds it's like really blurry but it says 45 seconds uv led light 45 seconds i keep saying minutes and i don't know why i want to say minutes it's seconds seconds what do i want to do i think i'm gonna do this side <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this part right here oh okay i already stuck it oh no it's not long enough look at the bottom i'm just gonna do that and kind of rub it in get the top okay Ooh. okay not bad that's actually not bad i'm okay with that let's try to get some up here do i have to put more of the i think i need more of the gel let's see yeah i think i need more of the gel you know what let me put a little bit more of that gel and then go back in and stick some up in there like right here and then maybe right up on top right just a little bit okay again cure not too bad not too bad it pretty much almost took everything off i think it's the way i did it as well like scrubbing it wise okay bottom perfect top we're gonna continue i'm gonna do the same to all of the frenchies um yeah i'm gonna do the same to all of the frenchies <laughs> to this oh i put way too much transfer foil should i even attempt putting the foil on top i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it okay so let's do this green green we're gonna do green and i just put it right on top and hope for the best hopefully that didn't matter that it was crinkle we're gonna encapsulate this anyway so i mean ideally i would like for it to be perfect but it doesn't necessarily need to be perfect because i kind of like i don't know the rawness of it as well as the imperfection of it oh that came out weird i actually like it but it looks different than the other ones oh that actually looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that gives me so many different ideas right now i'm gonna leave it and you want so note to self and everyone else don't apply your foil thick unless you want this kind of textured look which is pretty cool try to apply it thin if you do want an even image transfer image here Okay, I'm gonna leave it. So I'm gonna go in with my crystal clear hard gel and this is where I start encapsulating the nails. And I'm gonna flash cure as I go along and then you guys already know the full cure when I'm fully complete, when I'm fully done for a full 60 seconds. I'm also gonna encapsulate the ring nail. I just think it's gonna look better encapsulated and it's really just gonna make everything pop. So let's see what they look like when they are encapsulated because I am excited to see how it's going to intensify the look. You guys should already know when I say encapsulate, I get excited. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to start encapsulating the bottom part. And like I said, I am not not mad that i can see the black underneath poking through it almost looks distressed and i don't know i like that it like magnifies everything it looks so cool when it's encapsulated <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Like I said, it's making the image look, I don't know, it just intensifies the image and oh, it just looks so good when things are encapsulated. Love it. Love it. No time for fights. Just open your eyes. Do see the light. Don't hesitate now. There's too much in front of okay so they are all cured fully cured for a full 60 i'm just gonna go in and start cleansing it with my nail cleanser removing the sticky layer because we're gonna go into filing i'm gonna go in and just start filing these side walls you guys know me, i like to file the side walls first and then go over the top with the drill um so yeah we'll do that it's really quick just making sure nothing is on the side, nothing is stuck. I'm gonna go in with my fine tapered drill bit. I'm actually at 23,000 RPM. And this is me going around that cuticle, debulking as well because I have a lot of bulkage right here in that middle. And you're gonna see me going over the top like so. Oh, and this is where I start just really taking down that product to reveal these small lines. And you can really see that small line come through. And I'm just gonna go in and use my white buffing block just to buff over the surface. I just realized I didn't pick up my dust collector. The dust collector I'm also using right now currently is the Miss Sweet. I think it's called Miss Sweet. It is the one from Amazon. Um, I like how powerful the suction is. It is type loud, but I'd rather like, I just don't want anything like no dust up in my face, you know? Cause I don't really like wearing mask even though I should I don't know I'm gonna go back in cleanse the surface of my nails OMG how pretty that look at that guys they're so pretty now you guys already know we gotta go in with some bling so I did decide first of all let me take out some other colors all right, yeah, so I had to go ahead and dig because I wanted to add some bling. So I took out my, let me zoom you guys out. You guys are hell close. Okay, so I have my champagne and green, um, emerald green bling box. I'm going to want to use the green. Am I? Yeah. I'm only going to use the green side. I took out the yellow and orange one because I'm going to go in with the yellow side, which is citrine. And then I took out the cyan color, which is red. So I'm going to get these blings out. Honestly, I'm not going to use a lot. Well, actually, I don't know. Let me not say any of that because I might. I don't know. 
So on top of that, I'm going to go in with some chain. This box, again, is on the website, elgympro.com. Um, I have a gold, rose gold, and silver box that I created with the products that I have on the website. So you could go over there, check it out, and do your own little bundle if you want to. Um, so I'm actually going to go in with this color right here, this chain. This is like a gunmetal chain, and I thought it'll fit perfect with this nail design. So I'm going to go in with this, and I'm actually going to frame the ring nail so first thing first i'm going to go in with my bling it no wipe rhinestone gel i'm going to apply this to the entire surface this cure is non tacky so if you didn't want to apply a top coat on top you don't need to it's up to you if you want to add a top coat after this i usually don't because a cure is extremely shiny and it's not sticky it's not like you have to cleanse it with some alcohol or cleanser to remove a sticky layer there is no sticky layer and I'm just gonna go around the stuff from the bottom and then kind of just like hover it over and then just like that I'm actually gonna cut uh oh don't move just gonna cut right there and this is so tedious because I want it to look exactly like I want it to be on the actual rim all around also facing the same direction so it takes me a little while to kind of make sure also like the chain is not spinning to like lay it on top there we go just gonna carefully move these things in place my OCD is telling me to keep perfecting it, but the time is telling me to freaking cure it. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to leave it, and I'm going to cure it. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't cure it. I have to add some bling. I'm going to start adding bling in the middle. And then the same for the other nails. I'm just going to add bling here and there. Um, and just make a really pretty design on each of them. And then, yeah, and then cure that in place. <laughs> Last and final step, I'm gonna go in with my shiny no wipe top coat. Um, I don't need to do it to the ring nail because I applied that all over the surface. But for the other nails, I'm just gonna go in, use my shiny no wipe top coat, um, and then just cure that for a full 60 seconds. Let's just the one that I choose, baby. Y'all, when I say these came out so pretty. So this is the final look, you guys. I am in love. I feel like I say that when I reset when I finish it. Well, except for that one aquarium nail because that one just like went left. But I really like this set. I think it is really pretty. I was worried about with all the colors, like the red, green, orange, not orange, red, green, yellow. I didn't want it to look Christmassy. And every time I seen like Juneteenth nail designs, I feel like they were so direct or like red, like those stripe lines. Like I wanted something very different, very artsy as well and just pretty like these are pretty <laughs> you know I like them let me know what you guys think of this nail design I know I'm probably gonna be late for the Juneteenth nail designs and it's probably gonna come out after but yeah this is the final look you guys let me know what you guys think happy Juneteenth oh my god a happy Father's Day I am like all over the place I want to apologize you guys for all the daddies out there happy Father's Day Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed so you can stay up on my content. Turn the notification bell to all. And I truly appreciate all of your support. And yeah, that is it for this nail design. Love ya. You wanna do, you ain't got no work until five. We ain't even gotta die, I just want to try. Pray you rides all night, all ears, more vibes, and get what you like. We can go in on the floor, play, I'll follow through with the good juice. Shit out like you won't